What up though, it's your boy Philip J here. I'm here to show you guys how to find a modem you can use with your Xfinity service. I highly suggest buying your own modem and not using the one from Comcast because they charge $13 a month and over a one year period that comes up to $156 per year. So I highly suggest you buy your own modem and use that. So first thing you need to do is go to this website called My Device info.xfinity.com Alright, so it's going to take you to this page right here. What you want to do is, you want to type in your address and then the download speed you have chosen with your Comcast service. So I'm going to type mine in. And then I'm going to select 600 megabytes, just in this case. These are the devices that will work with the internet speed you have selected. So on the left side you have filters so you can find the better results. So it has download speeds right here. It goes up to 1000 megabits per second. I chose 600 megabits per second. My plan actually is 200 megabits per second but I went up just in case. Over time I want to increase my internet speed. I still want to use my same modem and not have to upgrade. So that's why I just went up a little bit. If you have Comcast Voice you want to hit this button right here because a lot of modems are not actually equipped with it then if you also want a gateway which is a combo cable modem and router you want to hit built-in Wi-Fi the modem that you rent from Comcast is a gateway so built-in cable modem and Wi-Fi and then there's other options such as brand you can select the access channels which is the, the amount of download channels and upstream channels and the access version you definitely want to have a minimum of 3.0 if you want to go over 1 gigabits per second you definitely want to have 3.1 you can just filter through the results if you have the triple play you want to hit both the Wi-Fi and the voice and then just your internet speeds. If your plan is 100 megabits per second, I'll just go to 300 and just select one of these options right here. We got an Arius, a Motorola, and a Netgear cable modem Wi-Fi router with voice. You hit one of them and then it's going to show you all the info. It's a gateway, the wired download speed, what's compatible with it. So any of these devices right here, you will actually be able to purchase and use on your home network. And then you'll be able to return the gateway device you're renting from them and save a lot of money over a long period of time. Choose which one you like. I'd say look over the data description, look over the specifications, and then probably just Google them because you can't buy it from Xfinity directly. So you will have to go either through Amazon or another seller and find it. This is on the Netgear website. This shows you more details about the product. So you can actually buy it off Netgear. It's $300 on their website. And don't think this is actually a lot of money because over a long period of time, even a two year contract, you will actually be saving money. You're spending $156 a year renting from Xfinity. Over a, if you have a two year contract, that's gonna come out to $312. You'll actually save money just by buying the product. And you'll be able to keep it. So if you sign another two year contract, you won't have to pay after that. Or even if you decide to switch with another company, you'll be able to sell it and make some money back from it instead of just paying rental fees and not getting anything out of it. In my next video, I'm going to do a review on the Motorola MT7711 Gateway, which is cable modem, router, and supports Xfinity Voice. I think it's the best available gateway you can buy to use on your Xfinity service. And it comes with a great value with a low price.